Hi, Dr. Kortor. Um, my name is Grant Sansel, and um, I'm the presenter for my team, um, consisted of Jeremy Short, uh, Sean Craig, uh, Nate Johnson, and uh, Jason Coleman. Um, so for this video, we're gonna go over our milestone one and uh, to make sure that we're good with all the requirements. And so for the first one, um, talking about communication, uh, that's Jeremy uh, will speak about that and how we have everything set up for that. I'm actually gonna throw that one to Nate. Appreciate that. A little own catch here. Uh, number one, established a shared location for communication with team members. Um, number one, we've actually been using we're using it right now, Zoom. We've been doing Zoom meetings uh, twice a week. Um, everyone's showing up, it's, it's been really helpful. And then for any written communication, we use Slack a lot. Um, Slack's been a lifesaver, lifesaver for us. Um, for sharing files, pretty much everything file related that we're sharing, like Tableau files, uh, me meeting minutes, or anything like that, um, including the Gantt chart. We also have a Gantt chart. We are using Google Docs right now in our Google Drive. We just have a shared Google Drive folder for that. That's it. All right, thank you, Nate. And now for um, number two, uh, the data to be loaded, um, loaded into our team account and all that. Uh, to talk more about that, Jeremy and the um, Orman server. Yeah, so I took getting all the data wrangled and loading it up to the Orman server. It is all there. Um, Grant, I don't know if you have that up. You can pull it up and show us that it is there. Um, but we we all have access. We've all accessed it. Um, I don't know if everyone else wants to chime in and verify that for Dr. Corridor. Yeah, we've got access. Yes, yep. all have access. And everyone also has access to all of our shared communication files, the uh, Slack and Google that Google Drive account. Um, yep. Uh -huh. There goes everybody. Uh, now I'll hand it over to Jason to talk about the mini challenges. Yeah, and sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I'm not able to, um, for some reason earlier, it's not working, and then now it's not working. Dr. Corridor, so sorry for not being able to show that later on. I guess we can show that we have access to that, but um, it does it does work, but it's not working now. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and take it over for the uh, scenarios and data. Um, yeah, we've we've all gone over all of the files and scenarios, and we understand that uh, the uh, basic scenario is that we're dealing with an amusement park where we have two data sets that are about. Uh, the visitor data based on their uh, movement patterns and uh, communications. And for the first mini challenge, we're basically grouping the visitors based on their movement patterns. And for the second mini, mini, challenge, mini challenge, we're focused on looking at their communication patterns. And then for the grand challenge, we ultimately want to identify who did the crime, uh, when the crime happened, where it happened, uh, Scott Jones's movements through the park, and any park operations that they could possibly improve. Um, and then for the data sets, like I said earlier, we have one based on movement and then one based on communications. And there's in each line item is a unique ID for each customer. And we, we've gone all over all those and had multiple Zoom meetings and we're all on the same page about that. If y'all all, all want to confirm that. Yeah, uh, yeah and I can, yep. yep, we all we all have gone through that and I'm um, currently are doing that. And um, like uh, like Nate mentioned earlier, we do have a Gantt chart that um, Sean um, created. And so Sean, if you want to speak about that. Uh, yeah, thank you, Grant. Yeah, so um, we, we made, us, made a simple Gantt chart um, in Excel, um, and we've uh, kind of been using that to track our uh, progress as a team. Um, right now, um, we're actually um, wrapping up um, Milestone 1, as you can see with this video. So all those items are marked complete on the Gantt that's stored in our uh, OneDrive. Um, and then we're um, are, are kind of already embarked on Milestone 2 um, and some of the uh, items on there. So it, uh, it carries us through um, the end of the project um, and it's accessible again by the entire team uh, in the OneDrive. 
everybody uh, want to confirm we all have access so we can follow along on the dates. Yep, yep. and yep, and to show Dr. Gortor, yeah, they're right here in our um, shared OneDrive uh, file. And um, I think that's all the questions. Now, the peer evaluation, I believe, um, it sent, she, she emailed it, so it's out emailed. So I guess after this, we can um, complete it, but we all are aware that we have to get that um, done to complete milestone one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And actually, and I'm guys, screen up really quick just so I can show those those few things. Yep. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, so here we got the Gantt chart. Nope. I did not click share. <laughs> okay. So here we have the Gantt chart. And then we have all of our data here in the Ormond server. And I can pull up our Slack really quick as well. Do the wrong screen. And there's our Slack for team three. Um, so that's all of our all of our fun stuff for milestone one. Okay. Awesome guys. Um, I appreciate it. And if Dr. Kortor, if you have any questions, uh, if there's something that we missed didn't show, just reach out to any of us and we'll be more than happy to show you everything. Thank you. Thanks.